There is a place where everything that's ever been lost can be found again. A place where lost hopes, lost dreams, lost chances wait for someone to reclaim them. But before you can find them, first you must become lost in the Twilight Zone. I don't know what's wrong with the neighbors here. I'm telling you, she doesn't work. I've used a bicycle pump, a hair dryer, even my mouth. Please. Let's not get graphic. I mean, how would you like waking up next to something that looks like a jellyfish with You've rouge? You've got a great deal. I didn't even charge you for the bikini. Uh, can you tell me where I can find it? I think this gentleman was in front of you. Besides which... Look, we I'm not here to buy anything. All I want to do is find the Lost and Found Emporium. I was told it was around here. It's here. Sometimes. Sometimes? What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means sometimes it's here and sometimes it's not. Go back and look for yourself. Second door in the rear of the shop. Have you tried pulling out the little tab? Oh, my God, he ripped her. Look, I want a new dolly or my money Hello? Is anybody here? Hey, you got a customer here. Hey, let's have a little service here. I wonder if you can help me. This, this is the lost and found Emporium, isn't it? Is that Florida out there? Yes, of course, Fort Lauderdale, where else? I was told this is an unusual shop where one might find something lost. Yeah, yeah, I was told the same thing. Well, perhaps you can tell me, Mr. Mr. Wong, David Wong, and I don't work here. I'm a customer, too. Oh, I am sorry. Do you know where I might find the proprietor? If I did, do you think I'd be roaming around this place by myself? No, 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 I suppose not. Do you think perhaps he's out to lunch? Oh, there's a thought. Out for a little eye of newt on whole wheat? How about a bit of bat brains tempura, huh? Hey, yo. Hey, you got some customers here. Anybody home? It, it, it may seem silly, but I'm not looking for a thing exactly. 
with it. That is not a solid object. I don't suppose you could tell me where I might find some lost time? Lady, I can care less. You see, you... I always wanted to be an artist, a sculptor. Well, I didn't get started until I was in my 40s. Well, several of my things sold at art fairs. I even got quite a few exhibited, but... Well, it... It was so hard to, to keep going. I didn't have the discipline, or the patience. And I just sort of fell away from it. And never went back. I... Oh, I know it sounds small, but... It's the only thing I've accomplished. All I want is the time I lost while my skills were still sharp. You know how long it took me to find this place? Well, at first, all I heard were rumors. I visited psychics, went to occult societies, met 12 people, each claiming to be the current incarnation of Jesus Christ. Oh, and one former great high priest of Lemuria. Lady, we're talking some deeply twisted individuals here. Three years, piecing together clue after clue, finally coming oh, up with an address. Just a moment, please. Just oh, one moment. And now that I'm here, there's no one running this stupid place. Now, just what am I supposed to... to... Is something wrong? Behind you. What's behind me? Can't you see it? See what? Stroke mice until calm for a period not less than five minutes. Follow directions precisely. Satisfaction guaranteed. No duplications. No exchanges. Do you suppose this might be my... my second chance? Stroke mice until calm. Yes. Come on. Oh, no, no, it, it makes sense. Look, I followed the same trail as you did to this place. Oh, you know, spiritualist books on the occult. I even seem to recall one of them saying that a discarnate quality or idea had to take some physical form before a person could claim it. Poor little things. So frantic, so impatient. Like me. Oh, please let me try. Please. Be my guest. Oh, yes. Yes. Come here, baby. Oh, there you go, sweetheart. Come here, sweetheart. Those are the breaks. <laughs> Excuse me. Can you please tell me just where I am? You don't know? It's the oddest thing. I was leaving my doctor's office. The elevator was slow, so I took the stairwell instead. And as I opened the door to the first floor ground level... Oh, that figures. Here I spend three years searching for this place, and you go and stumble onto it. I found myself here. I've been wandering around for half an hour. I've seen the strangest things. What is this place? 
Well, maybe you needed to find this place just now. Tell me something, Pops. You lose anything valuable? Lost hope? Lost dreams? Lost love? I, I don't know what you mean. I... I suppose I, I have lost something down through the years. Some way I, I still can't quite understand. I seem to have lost the respect of my children. When they're little, you know, they put all their trust in you. And you raise them as best you know how, never letting on that you don't have all the answers. You're frightened that you might do wrong by them without meaning to. And one day, you realize somehow you failed them. Betrayed that trust they put in you long ago. You don't know how or why. Come on. I hear one more sob story, I'm gonna puke. So I might as well show you your damn respect. Stare into mirror for not less than five and a half minutes. Follow directions precisely. Satisfaction guaranteed. No duplications, no exchanges. Never saw me like that. Never. Do you think I could put it back together somehow? believe you. Neither do I. Now, if you don't mind... What's wrong with you? Don't you have any feelings for him? For the old woman? Don't you think I know what I am? I came in here looking for my compassion. I started losing it years ago. Went around for student congress in college and had my posters covered up with swastikas and KKK symbols. When I'd go out with a Caucasian woman and people would stare at us, at me as though I was polluting the gene pool by just having coffee with her. But I think... I think I lost the last of my compassion after reading about Vincent Chin. You ever hear of Vincent Chin? No, but... He was only 27 years old. He lived in Detroit. He was beaten to death by two Caucasian men who mistook him for Japanese and blamed him for the decline of the American auto industry. The judge gave him probation find them three thousand dollars the justice department they retried him retried him on violating chin's civil rights one was found guilty and sentenced to 25 years in prison but the other the other was acquitted even though he'd held chin down while the other clubbed him well, at least they were retried that's something yeah. yeah yeah that's what i kept trying to tell myself but by then it was a bit late for me do you think I like being this way? The girl I'd lived with for five years left me because of what I'd become. Oh, oh I, I'd be delighted. I'd be delighted if I could find some compassion. If I only knew where in this crazy place it was. I can find it for you. What? The globe of light. The one you followed? Well, I could see it, too. You see... I think it's our own light that we can't see. We can find things others have lost, but not ourselves. Well, it makes sense. As much sense as anything else does in here. Good. Then I've got a proposition for you. I'll find your compassion for you. And in exchange, you find me 
what I lost. Deal? Well, what is it you lost? You don't need to know that. Well, suppose I don't get it until you tell me. I won't tell you. And you won't get what you want. We're quite a pair, aren't we? Two fine specimens. All right. All right, let's go. So, how long have you had this assertiveness problem anyway? What? You would know irony for the camera and bitch on the knee, would you? Vapors evaporate quickly. Inhale for five to ten seconds. Satisfaction guaranteed, etc., etc. Spot of light. Please do follow me. <laughs> One of these brown eyes contains your lost compassion. Guess which one? Hey, we had a deal. You were gonna find it for me. I did. It's right here. <laughs> Just what did I get back for you anyway? My sense of humor. A bad marriage, bad divorce, can do that. Makes you sullen, self-righteous. One day I woke up and discovered I'd forgotten how to laugh at myself. At anything for that matter. Damn it! This isn't fair. Now, now, what if I choose the wrong one? What if it contains something bad? Maybe now you know how those poor people you mistreated felt. Hey, they could all be good. Oh, they could be mostly bad. <laughs> you got the guts, brown eyes. You can open them all. you regained anything? Well, there was this picnic my family went on when I was little. Well, I knew I had a good time, one of the few I had as a kid, but, but I could never remember the details. Till now. Oh. Gee, I wonder if there's a broom around here. I really should clean this up before someone steps on this. Integrity. What? got your integrity back. Can't you feel it? Yeah, I, I guess I did lose that too somewhere down the line. Or else I couldn't have been so cruel to those other people, even without compassion. After all, they did trust me to, to find their lost... Wait a minute. If one of those held my integrity and the other my, my memories of the picnic... Oh, you found me out. All three of them were yours. I could tell by the light. Then the test tube holds my compassion. Oh, where is it? Where is it? It's got to be here. It's got to be. Oh, no. 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 Maybe this was no accident. Oh, come on. It could have happened to anybody. I'm sorry, brown eyes. 
If I'd known, I would have given it to you right off the bat. I don't mean that. I probably deserved it. I mean, my, my finding this place, when it seems to be without a manager, in some way I can't quite explain. I feel like, like this place is mine now, that I owe it something. Maybe I'll stick around for a while. Think maybe you could use some help? Are you serious? Well, the person I used to be didn't make much of a life for me to go back to. Like you, I guess. This place seems right for me. For us. Well, your management now. Gotta look your best, you know. And I've got news for you, brown eyes. You've got your compassion back. I'm sure of it. But you said it was in the test tube I broke. Well, it was. As a separate quality. Only I think your integrity comes with a little compassion. As a package deal. Forces it on you. Do you really think so? Well, you could try it out. On them. I lost one chance to help them, didn't I? You got it, brown eyes. And what can be lost can be found again, can't it? You won't find it in the yellow pages or advertised in the local paper. Its reputation is spread purely by word of mouth from one satisfied customer to another. But if, like most of us, you've lost something in your time, look for this door. And if you don't find it at first, don't lose hope. Because even that can be found again in the Twilight Zone. <laughs>